Welcome to MTD CNC. Now this is the Hexagon Tech Center right in the heart of the Silverstone Technology Cluster. We're surrounded here by automotive companies, F1 companies. There is so much tech inside. Let's go see what's happening. Welcome to our Hexagon Open House. Here we are today at the Silverstone Technology Center. Uh, we put this day together along with uh, many of my colleagues from the different parts of the, the divisions that we have, engineers, account managers, and the commercial side and the technical side. We wanted to show and showcase the end-to-end -end vision that Hexagon have uh, for empowering makers, everything from computer edit engineering all the way through to quality and inspection. Uh, really excited to host a number of different people from across the manufacturing industry from all the way from automotive through to marine and electronics. So my name's Steve Wally. I uh, am the area manager for Hexagon for the instrument you can see behind me, which is the Absolute Arm. I look after the southeast region of the UK. The demo I'm showing off today is it's showing the, the Absolute Arm with AS1 laser scanner. And it's basically just to show how we can very, very quickly uh, make a 3D scan of a component uh, just, just basically for the speed and efficiency of uh, just doing a very, very quick scan. Next, this is our new cloud-based platform for discrete manufacturers that we launched in February this year. It's aimed at solving the problem of collaboration across manufacturing organisations by enabling engineers from different disciplines to work together in real time by connecting together the technologies they use, whether from Hexagon or from any other supplier, um, to build, uh, build real-time workflows. So at the event at Silverstone today, we've uh, shown the audience Nexus today and given them some initial demos of the first solutions that we've built on the platform. So Nexus is in its early stages, but already we have uh, a handful of new apps, so new cloud-based software applications that are available on the platform. Uh, and we've also built and released our first solution, which focuses on the design for additive manufacturing workflow. 3D scan is useful for very, very rapid inspection of parts. Uh, again, we have traditional CMMs, but with the arm and scanner, we can scan the parts very, very quickly in situ on the machine, and we don't have to uh, take the parts off a machine to go in and do the scanning. Yeah, so with the arm, the, you know, the, the, the benefits we have there, that we don't have to potentially have skilled operators, we can take the arm straight over, put it in situ next to the machine, and a program, if it's been written, can just be executed by the user, or they can just turn on the arm and start scanning, potentially without, sometimes without any programs. So it's to say for first article inspection, it's very, very rapid that we can take the arm to the machine, do the inspection very, very quickly with minimum uh, minimum requirements for any programs and things. And it's just to you know, ultimately get the results as fast as we can out of the system in a, in a short space of time. My name's Brian Kent. I'm uh, a training partner for Martin Baker. Um, we are the, the uh, premier manufacturers of rejection seats, um, supplied to pretty much everybody in the world, largest market holder. Um, our products range from uh, very old 1950-style seats to um, uh, current F35. Um, and we're looking to uh, supply um, seats that uh, aircraft that um, aren't even flying at the moment. So we've we come here today because we're we're dealing with issues, we're dealing with issues with our, in our goods inventory department, our um, um, in process manufacturing department. Um, it's a new sale. Some of the stuff has changed and worked. Um, the way we're, we're organizing ourselves. So we're looking for equipment that fills these certain gaps. We need a faster means of verification. We don't want a total verification of products. Some of the products are very old. Um, there will be some requirement for possibly reverse engineering. Some of the parts are so old there is no CAD models. So um, instruments like this is gonna fix some of those problems hopefully. We, we, we like the way the, uh, the software works. Richard White, Technical Manager at the CAE uh, Division of uh, Hexagon. CAE, Computer Aid Engineering, it's where we build. It's been around for about 40 years, or uh, well, longer than that actually. Uh, we build uh, simulation models where we can predict the performance of mechanical components, thermal things, fluid flow, predicting it all on the computer before you build prototypes or, um, or test things for real. 
this part, this part here that we've got on the screen, rather than using a CAD model to make the CAE models, we're using a digital scan, reverse engineered data from a digital scan. So we're actually modeling the part in its actual physical condition, its an, as manufactured condition. We can take that and do a number of different uh, types of uh, CA analysis on it. So uh, an example here, we've got acoustic analysis, fluid flow analysis, looking at uh, part tolerances and stress, um, durability, as I mentioned earlier, fatigue analysis. This is really important for parts that are gonna stay in the field for a long time, because this is a very common uh, source of failure. And for parts like this, oil and gas industry, um, part failure, it's not so much the part cost as the cost of the failure. Uh, replacing the part can be huge costs. Uh, also here, looking at novel forms of manufacturing, we can uh, look at ways to make these parts in, in uh, different ways, cost effective, additive manufacturing being one of them. My name is Bill Press. Um, I work for Rolls-Royce. Uh, I'm a mechanical um, technical specialist. Uh, I design, uh, analyse, uh, justify mechanical components within an engine. When we design and analyse our components, we have to use standards or specification input data. Whereas with the software and the uh, products offered, we can actually bring in real-time data, whether that's geometries from a, a digital representation, or, or actual temperatures and pressures that we can, uh, we can take from, from when the product is operating. And we can feed that back into the software to get real-time analysis with the intent to push the maintenance out, push the life of the product a lot further.